Appropriately, the Ohio Bobcats are getting set for the 123rd season of college football in Athens with 23 fall camp practices. The first was Monday, the second Tuesday. They'll go on through the end of the month to the first game week of the year, culminating with that opener on September the 2nd here at Peden Stadium against Hampton. There will be primarily morning practices. A couple of scrimmages will be rolled in, but there are no more two-a-days. The NCAA has outlawed those. So it's a different practice design with that December drive to Detroit for a MAC championship game in mind. Uh, I mean, you work all year for December games in December and November and all those things. So, yeah, it's great to be back out here. We're all having a good time. And it's a, it's a really blessing. It's a blessing to get back and you know, working, not only working with the boys, but get the chance to get another year to play. You know, it takes time. Just, you just got to get your uh, technique and uh, everything down. I mean, we, we're still working. The Bobcats will attack with a different sort of aerial assault. The top two receivers are gone from last year, Sebastian Smith and Jordan Reed. So there will be new starters in, but the tight end position will be one of strength for the ball club with Manjin, Mason Morgan, and others. Manjin had 15 catches for 142 yards and a touchdown last year. He figures to be more involved this year. And then on the defensive line, when you lose Terrell Basham to the NFL and the Indianapolis Colts, somebody else has to step up. So the native of American Samoa might add to that total of 36 from last year and one quarterback sack. I'm trying to get it all out though. Like every every time I go in, I ain't trying to take no red down, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm not doing it for myself, but I'm doing it for, you know, the D-line and as well as the defense. I, you know, I mean, me personally, I always want them to get better. I always want to get more catches, more yards, things like that. But at the end of the day, it's about winning games. And so if they need me to block, I'll block. If they want me to go out and catch passes, I'll catch passes. I'm here to do whatever they want me to do. You get the best of both worlds. Uh, you get to go out and catch passes and things like that, but you also get to put your hand in there and block people. So you kind of get the physical part and the fun part too. So I'm all about it. Friday is media day here in Athens, and we'll join you next from there. Rob Cornelius and I will break it all down as we'll weave through some player and coach bites, so be on the lookout for that. Also this week, I'll tweet out a one-on-one -on -one interview with the ninth-year commissioner of the Mid-American Conference, Dr. John Steinbrecher. Look at Ohio football, Ohio Bobcats, and me, Russ Eisenstein, on Twitter for that. We talked a lot about football and a little bit about basketball, too, so be ready for that. All right, that's our first practice report from Peden, and the first time that we're in the Adidas gear here. Doesn't fit too bad. Hopefully it looks nice on camera, too. With Jason Chapino, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.